This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. All right, we're four horses up to bat, and uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah, that's, that's him. him. Yeah, that's him. You good right there? Yes. There's a big mature deer that we've seen that dwarfed every deer that's walked by this evening. Let's kill him, buddy. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born, it's our final episode of the season, and we're definitely going out with a bang. That's awesome, that's my first Iowa deer. I couldn't be more excited. We'll be traveling to the great states of Missouri and Iowa as DOD team members Forrest Bonin, Perry Batten, and Wade Robinson all put their traditions muzzleloaders to good use on some great mature whitetails. Oh, yes. <laughs> good job, Perry. Thanks. Yeah, that was fun, huh? Oh, yeah. It wasn't on the hunt, but I got to be on the track. That yeah. was awesome. So let's get right to the action with Forrest Bonin in Iowa. All right. I'm excited because we have a first tonight. It's the first time Forrest and I get to deer hunt together, right? It is. Yeah. So Forrest is up to bat. I'm behind camera. Also excited that Wade's back in the fold. He went and got a COVID test today. He's negative. We all love him again now. So he's gonna go in another blind, film a secondary angle, and we're gonna have some fun in the deer woods. And uh, look who's coming, look who's coming. How you feeling, Wade? I feel great. Like a new man? Yes. Good. Feel loved again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go see something die. Yeah, we are too. All right, we're getting ready to split up. Force is up to bat, Wade's back in play. He's going to that muddy on an Omega lift system. We're going to that muddy based on what Taylor and I saw the other night. There were some really nice deer south and west of that blind that never came onto the north side of this field. So we're gonna slide a little bit further south. Wade's gonna have a secondary angle and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. Well, here we go. It's second gun season here in Iowa and I uh, got lucky enough to have a tag. Mark's behind the camera and then Wade's in another muddy blind over there. Right here at night, there's a couple of uh, mature deer, so hopefully one of them pokes their head out. But really, really excited to be up here. It's my first time ever hunting with Mark for deer, so that's always a good time, so looking forward to it. Aggressive. Distance there, Forrest. He's coming this way still. Yeah, but he's gonna get behind this car. So you'd want to crack him in the road right there.
stood up out of the back vertical, would you have a better angle? Probably. Better check quick. Stick your time. See him there in the dead tree. Got him that time, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's down in the field. I can not Thank all you. Well, it is well, buddy. Thank you so much, Mark. That's awesome. Thank you, Wade and Perry, for all the work you guys did. That's awesome. That's my first Iowa deer. I couldn't be more excited. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you so much. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Let's go get on that sucker. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm shaking so bad right now. Oh my goodness. Yes! Look at the body on that sucker. He is big, Forrest. It's my first Iowa buck ever. Cool. That's awesome. Well, here we are. It's second gun season here in Iowa, and everyone else is tagged out. Uh, this week, Taylor and Terry and Gary and Perry all killed one, and then I was able to come out tonight and kill this absolute giant bodied old deer. He's the biggest body deer I've ever killed. He's absolutely massive. I uh, didn't hit him the best on the first shot, but he was able to go out there and I was able to put a second one on him and that one did the trick and he went down on the field. I literally could not be more excited. It's my first Iowa deer. Thank you, Mark, so much for letting me come up here and hunt. Thanks to Perry and Wade for doing all the work up here. I uh, really appreciate you guys letting me come up and hunt and uh, I couldn't be more excited. My first Iowa deer. Congrats, buddy. Well, tonight ought to be tonight, buddy. Feeling good. If not tonight, tomorrow night. And if not tomorrow night, the next night. We've got good weather. Three left. Three. And yeah. Deer cast is great for yep. all of them. So. Yeah, for sure. That's exciting. We're going to go back to Missouri, take another look down there. And uh, you're going to a cool place. I, 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 I really hope you kill her just because of the work we put into that farm. That'd yeah, I can't fun. wait to see it. Yeah. I can't wait for you to see it. All right. Well, good luck. You too. Take care. Y'all get them. Yeah. Yes, sir. You got it. Go with the grand finale. Dustin's going to a great spot in Iowa. I'm going to Missouri. I'm on green. He's on grain. He's on beans. I'm on uh, that would be winter bulb sugar beets, some radishes. We'll see uh, who has the best set tonight. Is it on green? No, I have it backwards. <laughs> Here you get it. You never know. One of the most difficult things in the entire world to do is put an orange vest on and do it correctly. Are you dressed for the fashion show? I am dressed, baby. I'm ready to rock and roll now. Last night we were hunting on a southeast wind out of that blind blowing into that, that crossing. Tonight we're hunting on a northwest wind coming from that blind past us back here into this open, open cut cornfield. So hopefully we're in for a good night tonight. We've sat here many times through the years. One of our favorites here in Missouri, we have a, a great history here at County Road Bottom. There's an old county road right here I mean, it's ancient. When we put the blind right in the old county road. You can see the, the right of way right there. So we call it County Road Bottom. One of my favorite places. Is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's just flat awesome. Dude, it's gonna be a mega. M mega. <clears throat> that's exciting right there. We love all the phases, but you get into this one and you get cold weather like we've got right now, and then ma major front coming in another couple days. These deer really get on a good move and start getting more patternable like they were in the first couple three phases. We always, um, I think, do better in and around the early phases and the last phases because they're so so oriented on food and, and a lot of our game plan revolves around food. So it's always a, a pleasure to sit, whether you're shooting a deer or not, just to watch 
your game plans come together and to see deer that you've never seen before. That's the first time we've ever seen that guy. Hopefully it won't be the last. Hopefully us passing him will pay off next year. He's the oldest. I don't oh, want yeah, he's fully mature. I don't want nothing to do with him. 100% fully mature deer. A 6x5 is yet to show up here in Missouri. There's a big mature deer that we've seen that dwarfed every deer that's walked by this evening, body size. And uh, Mark and I pulled the switcheroo, and I've got the traditions of us letter now. Let's kill him, buddy. Stop me. Stop me. Ah. Let me win. All right, you ready? Yep. Well, it looked good. It felt good. That tradition's put it on him. He ran up the hill. I lost him after that, but we saw 40 deer, 40 plus deer tonight. And Mark's target didn't show. And he handed me the gun. He said, let's kill that big mature deer that just walked out. So thank you, sir. That no, was a, thank you, Barry. That was a rush. That was fun. So last night we got down out of the blind, went and reviewed the hit. The shot was a little far back and lower than we would like, so we decided to back out, wait for this morning, and uh, here we are. We're gonna hopefully recover my Missouri deer. But we felt good about that angle, yeah. you know, aim to exit, which you did, and where it went in, we just couldn't find the deer last night. We were on good blood. We said it's gonna be 25 degrees. Let's wait for morning, and we we did. So we'll give it a good look here. Yes. Going back towards that field. Oh, right, there, right, there, right there, buddy. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Perry. <laughs> yeah, that was fun, huh? Oh, yeah. It wasn't on the hunt, but I got to be on the track. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. That's awesome, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, congratulations, Perry. Job well done. Thank you. Man, what an evening we had last night. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Yes, we saw 40 deer and came in to hunt a big deer that Mark had, a uh, target in Missouri, and he never showed, but this big mature deer showed, and we uh, pulled the old switcheroo, and I got the traditions. Like usual, the deer hunting <laughs> did not show. <laughs> yeah. We've been three and a half months chasing that deer, and he just won't show up. We've chased a couple of them, and, and neither show up, but that's okay because we had another mature deer come out and it's only in December, or December as we like to call it, where you get that many bucks out in one evening. It was probably one of the best sits I've ever had at County Road Bottom and, yeah. and uh, we capped it off with you taking this nice deer. Yes, I couldn't thank you enough. It's been a heck of a season. It's been fun. <laughs> oh yeah. That's both your Missouri tags filled yep. and on top of that Perry's been working really hard as have Wade and myself trying to take the doe numbers down with the DMAP permits. And, uh, you know, we're also trying to manage for quality. It's exactly what we did last night. And Perry filled his tag, and it, it ended up being an incredible evening. And here we are with a better morning to follow. Striker Fire did its trick, and uh, all's well that ends well. We got your gear. Yes, sir. to the perfect day of hunting with the DeerCast 10-day forecast. Get ahead of your game with DeerCast. Natural Barn is brought to you by Analogix Outdoors, Scent Crusher, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, Reconyx Game Cameras, Tracker Off-Road, Leupold Optics, Cold Steel, Mossio Camouflage, Gearcast, Matthews Archery, and presented by Winchester Ammunition.
With fading shooting light and his target buck MIA, Mark Drury decided to pull a switcheroo and handed his traditions muzzleloader to cameraman Perry Batten. Thank you, sir. That no, was a, thank you, Perry. That was a rush. That was fun. Now we're going to join up with Wade Robinson as he looks to put his traditions muzzleloader to good use on a couple of mature whitetails in both Missouri and Iowa. Well, we finally made it into the blind wasn't the blind that we were wanting to get into uh, because there's a few deer out on the field, but uh, we got in and uh, well, you know, but a doe goes right downwind as soon as we get in, coming into the blind and sends all the rest of the deer back through the bed. It's never good this time of year whenever the bed gets cleared, so we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. further left than what I intended to. I think that uh, bleed bullet will do the trick. I think it got in that cavity still, and, and those bullets are just meant to just explode in there. So it's definitely, definitely in our favor to be shooting those bleed bullets in this scenario. But I'm gonna get on deer cast track, run it through there, all the scenarios, and uh, make sure everything's good. But by the looks of that, it was quarter two, and I feel like I hit right at the ball of that shoulder, which would which would put him right at the front of those lungs, and he was quartered too, so I think we're really in the game. Mm. 
God. Awesome. That is just so cool. Uh, we brought the LTO out and he's shining very bright on there. <laughs> we literally went where Wade had jumped him up. There's a hole back, back there that has blood in it. And then you can see blood along the trail here. And he, he went about like Wade said. And then we got the LTO out and I was like, hey. <laughs> It's a really hot There's spot. It's a really hot spot. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the body on this thing. Oh, yeah, man. Holy awesome. cow, he's a giant. What is <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> well, congratulations, Wade. Way to put an exclamation point to your Missouri season this year. Oh, man, it was so much fun. You know, I got in early thinking to try and beat the movement and still didn't quite beat them. They dominoed back, but uh, not too much long after that, they all started filtering back out. We got that text and we were sitting in that muddy blind that you had hit one and Perry and I were like two caged dogs. We were like, <laughs> let's go help Wade. So we got out of the stand and headed south and I'm glad we did because it was fun being here for the recovery. Glad to have you guys down here because uh, I think it could be a, quite the drag out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, you did a super good job with the footage and you did a great job with the Traditions uh, Striker Fire. The LTO did a good job. Oh. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Happy for you, proud of you. and. Man, what a big old giant buck to end your season here in Missouri. It's awesome. Giant body. <laughs> January 10th, final day of season, and uh, we're still after it. Got the nitro fire in hand, and uh, we're going into a spot. First time this year that we've hunted it, standing means uh, should be a great set. There's a couple, three different mature bucks been using it. So hopefully one of them will show their face tonight. Well, just got to the blind. Go ahead and load up the old nitro fire gas in hopes that we didn't run them all out. Looks like a lot of tracks around, so look like there's a good many deer using this field, so hopefully there was just a few bedded close to the edge here, the ones that were watching the field. And uh, big boy was bedded off just a little further. So fire stick in. We are ready, ready to go. That's definitely a shooter, he's on the list. Got some age on him. success here and uh, I think we just got it done on an old warrior awesome that was so much fun man good stuff yes well so it's been about two hours since I hit that deer and uh, while I was sitting here I was going through deer cast track and as you could see about right in there where I hit right at the last rib and if you take that skin off it's definitely intestines, so I'm gonna ease down. It's been about a uh, little over two hours since I hit him. I like this. It's bleeding pretty good. Oh my God. There he lays right there. Wow. He didn't go 40 yards off the edge of this field. Well, what an awesome way to wrap up my 2020 season with this, probably the most unique looking deer I've ever shot. And uh, 
Again, thank you to the bleed bullet because I didn't make the best shot, but the deer didn't go 200, 250 yards and uh, a beautiful red blood trail leading right to him. So uh, just an awesome hunt and was able to get it done self-filming again. And you know, the, the, the field was just filling up. Again, I love this time of year. Um, so many deer come out and feed and uh, you could just get to see, see deer in their natural habitat and a lot of them. And uh, just like that, this big old mature guy came out and uh, finally was able to get the Traditions Nitro Fire on him and uh, the rest is history. Just an awesome way to wrap out my 2020 season. What a way to wrap up another amazing season of Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. We hope you've enjoyed every single exciting moment from our great cast of hunters. Oh my gosh, that's maverick. We got it done with the 350 legend tonight. Me and the Winchester and the loophole uh, just put a hurting on him. And we cannot wait to see you again next year right here on DOD TV. Oh, what a feeling. <laughs>